What is up, guys? We are live with round number one of the Draft Box 5 tournament. We got Super Player himself, Anthony Dorado. Yo. What's up, man? How's it going? Ooh, Tony G up in this building. Thank <laughs> you again, George, for having me in this commentating side of the virtual tournament. <laughs> of course, dude. I mean, we got a pretty exciting game. Uh, we got Angel Santiago, which had a pretty good run last time um, on Wednesday when we had our first online tournament. And then we have... Sanjay, Sanjay, so we'll see what he's on. It looks like Jiren coming down for Angel, his trusty Jiren deck, and we'll <laughs> see what uh, Sanjay comes out. Hey, you you guys had a tournament last night. H how'd that go? Oh no no no, we didn't have a tournament. It was just me live streaming. Um, oh, it was just you. No no no, it was just it was just the, me like. You had the Twitch description like tournament or something. I was like, oh. Oh shoot! Oh yeah. snap! I didn't I didn't I, I didn't even realize that. My bad. Um, it's because when we hit restream, we do it on both platforms, but sometimes I forget to change the thumbnail or the title of the night, the Twitch one because I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just edit the YouTube one. And then I just totally forgot about the. No, it was just um, the video or the. I think, what was it? The Twitch stream was about what's going to be the next meta. I had Brian Sammy on there, pretty much talking about how the Dropbox five cards are going to influence the next coming set. And. Um, and he was just talking about um, which ones to get and whatnot, and, and um, what his favorite weren't the favorite ones were. So oh, that's, that's what I was thinking. Oh, that's probably why I'm bought out of a bunch of draft box five singles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's Bojack. Uh, I see Bojack. Yeah, so that's I crazy. I haven't seen Bojack. Yeah, I haven't seen Bojack since since the set it came out. Like no one started playing it. Um, but that's crazy. I think someone was actually making a pretty good deck. I played someone on Untapped before, and I think it was Octagon also. Maybe it was the same dude. And um, yeah, I think you could play them for free, and then they spam out a bunch of little creatures. So once you bring out one of them, I think it's the one with uh, the little blue one, the smaller blue guy. And um, he Small spams out the red. Yeah. He <laughs> spams out the red. Got it. <laughs> Peter, would be, Peter would be proud right here. <laughs> I, I saw a community post about Bojack the other day, and then I thought it was just trolling, but I guess it was this gentleman, or maybe he was Well, he that. didn't uh, Peter Katani uh, cosplay at the Dallas yeah, event, yeah, I yeah, think? he did. Yeah, yeah it's Bojack. He loves Bojack. He's always like trying to make a meta, so hopefully this makes it, this makes it meta yeah, for so, him. So. so right now, both players charge a dual color. Um, um, oh, one of them does. Oh, no, no. He, oh, yeah, he does. Uh, it's because... I don't have the image package. Let me go get that real quick. Uh, are they all uploaded, um, George? Uh, all the images? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So go Perfect. reset that if you like. Yeah, but the new yeah. image pack, it's now fixed. So thank, thank the Lord. <laughs> See if that audio is a little bit better. Uh, Red Trunos, I know Tony was a little bit loud. I toned down his Discord. Um, See if my, my headset can... Uh, I think we're both on the same level now. Okay, I tend I to be very know. low at the beginning, and then I start like... Going off my rocker. How, how, <laughs> what, how was the the Wednesday event? I believe the free Wednesday event uh, was fantastic. We we sold out. Of course, it's free, so there's reason no reason not to. <laughs> we had like a couple call outs because they were like, "Oh yeah, I didn't know that." You know, they didn't read that it was a whole event, a whole day event. But uh, it was really fantastic. We we got 120 viewers, so that's going to be our goal to to break this stream, guys. For for those of you at home, uh, share this with your friends. Share this with all your Dragon Ball Super buddies. Uh, we're trying to make this uh, really, really big. Let me zoom out on this screen, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was very successful. Everybody had a great time. Nothing but positive things. Um, and we crowned our first ever Pro Play Tour champion, which it was, I think, Roberto with Gohan. And then uh, Amani made it Dang. to the finals with Chilai. So that was really interesting. Um, so I, I, I'm guessing Gohan is the deck to beat for this event. And I'm sure everybody's kind of, like, tuned their deck to make sure that, you know, they can beat Gohan. But... <laughs> the problem with Gohan is not only is it very powerful, it punishes uh, creative uh, creativeness sometimes because you, you really it's it's hard to make a creative deck and then have the answers for everything, right? Because you're always trying to beat the the grindy mid range yep. decks. Um, but the problem is, especially on an online platform, even even in a real life platform, like when you're playing <laughs> like face to face, right? Like it's a faster deck, so you don't have to go into time. You don't really have to worry too much about those mm -hmm. factors. So it's either you win fast or you lose fast. So that's what makes it so powerful sometimes because you just have that factor kind of out where you would have that factor maybe with any other type of deck if you're not fluent with it, right? True, 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 true. I agree. 
Beto. Is this what the what you call the blue guy? Who is this guy? The li- this is no, guy no, no, no. Terminology. Oh. No, no, it's the <laughs> other, uh, like the little one, the smaller one, the less buff one. You know how there's like less a squad of like giant, oh, the ginormous. One with, the, with the headgear. Head... Yeah, 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 that one. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. he's the one that spams out the one of them. Spams, the, I think the girl, and then the girl brings out a third one, and the third one brings out like the, that dude. I think it, it's just like a chain, like a little chain of one drops that eventually you could successor. I'm guessing it's running the successor um, engine. If not, if it's blue yellow, then that's interesting. Blue yellow, see. yeah, blue, blue yellow is pretty odd, but yeah, you can you can success with mono blue. I mean uh, mono yellow, but you need mm-hmm. to have some splash of green. I think like most of the successors will be. Will have green in their cost. Broski B, congratulations! Thank you so much for the subscription. Four months. Wow, that's a long time. Really appreciate it. Peter is not with us, unfortunately, but I will relay the message. Peter, like that, or like Peter, <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, so uh, th- this is uh, all right. New draft box card makes an appearance. Helis and Sawar. Universe 2, Destroyer, and Angel. So this is the Warp Land. We saw Angel try to play this last uh, on the last tournament. <clears throat> and the cool thing about this card in, in Jiren is you can pay two energy and bring out two two drops from your hand. So for two energy, you get four costs worth of cards. So it, it kind of does like what your leader does in a way. It can summon like two topos, uh, two two drop topos from your hand, which that's already mm-hmm. eight right there. Like, that's pretty badass. Wait, two uh, topos? You can bring out two. Oh, the two, two, drops. two. Yeah, 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 yeah. The two. You can the also two, bring the, out the one drops too if you want. The, one the drop green, drops. yellow one, right? Ye- yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can bring him out, like two of them, with oh, this snap. Uh, with this destroyer angel thing for two energy. For two energy, you get eight worth cost of cards. That's pretty cool. Wow, he's using the ability. We're gonna see him play topo and kunshi off the destroyer and angel. And that's pretty cool. I mean, honestly, he would have paid the two energy anyways if he hard casted both of these cards. So, I mean, it didn't make too much of a difference there. The goal is to summon two drops. Uh, unfortunately, yep. he just didn't have the two drops. Let me exit the game, I think, uh, so I could do the image package real quick. Oh, I yeah, think. you're going to have to exit uh, I could yeah, Exit and go back in. Yeah. I'll be right back. It was table one, correct? Yes, I believe so. Gotcha. gotcha. Hopefully, it cool. reallows spectators. I think it. That was weird it how should. we didn't do spectators for that game. There you go. Maybe, the, maybe um, he turned off spectators. I think you could do that. There you go. I could see all the image packages. It's kind, it's kind of like declining a feature match. That's funny. Just turning off spectators. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're totally right. All right, so everything seems solid, but now I can see everything. everything. Solid? So yeah, I know. Everything's good. Somebody was telling me that on the Wednesday stream during like round one and two. That's why you don't see round one and two on our on our YouTube. It's because I was, I didn't think that they updated the image pack, so I was here with like, you know, old, <laughs> like, all, like all no. these backwards cards. You know, everyone's like, what are you ta- what are you doing like new image packs? But they had finished updating it that that night. So Brandon was really oh. good with, uh, yeah, yeah, he was really good with fixing that like ASAP. I think they're working on getting draft on here, by the way. So we're gonna no see draft. Way. Yeah, 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 we're gonna see draft box five drafts on here because they they just needed the ratios. So I let them know the gotcha. ratios. All right, Hopefully so this guy's like... building a sick board, man. I just realized yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, with yeah, the journey. Guy... <laughs> I just realized that. This guy just spammed out the one drops, and he has that one that becomes a barrier. And once that dude's out, I feel like it's such a complicated situation. Everything becomes that's universe 11, or I believe, becomes a, a barrier. So anything, or n- pretty much all those cards can get popped. So that just becomes annoying, I feel. So that's yeah, insane, in my get, opinion. This is, this is going to get pretty, pretty ridiculous pretty fast. And what's his hand size? Let me see. This is who's the one that's playing? Um, Jiren is it Angel? Jiren is Angel, yeah. Dang, so he has six cards in hand. I guess that's the drawback between um, Hellas is that you lose your hand just because you're spamming out your little dudes, and I think she re um negates their skills so they can't even pop off even if they wanted to to help you draw or anything like that. So I think that's pretty wild. 
that's the drawback of spamming a board of little weenies that's what they call them. <laughs> yeah. oh I, I i forgot to mention this got uh this destroyer and angel also makes you discard a card too so what that's, that's pretty cool yeah yeah so you summon the two dudes and then they discard a card oh but but, but okay. the problem is the the cards that you summon their effects are negated i believe yeah uh, mm -hmm. yeah the skills negated for the turn so he would have been able i mean like like i said that's why i'm like oh if you paid the two energy for these two cards it would have been the same because this topo makes your opponent discard anyways but uh, but yeah, that's interesting to note. Like, if you play um, something that's not Topo off of this, then you'll get that discard anyways. Okay. Oh, look, the, the Space Pirate Bujin, the one that you were talking that's about. That's his name, Bujin. Bujin. That like guy. The, and then when Bujins. you play him, <laughs> <laughs> when you play him, you get to um, look at the top. Uh, play a two drop or less. For yeah, him for play. Man, yeah. I think that, yep. And then when and you then... combo with him, also. Just one, no, no, you rest. Mm hmm Yeah, that's insane. That's what I was saying. I'm like, dang, the little blue dude. What's his name? Bujin. That's his name. Little, little blue dude. Yeah, I think. Do they all do that? No, um. Like yeah, they, they they start going off once you get one on, like on board. It just like mm -hmm. everything from the top of the deck to your hand to searching. It's it's crazy. It's a fun deck. I feel. Oh, he it just brought out this one. Start for. Might be a pretty slow start for Jordan here. We'll see. We have Dispo Unprecedented Speed. <laughs> this one looks so funny to me. The design of it looks pretty cool. If your leader card is Universe 11, when you play this card, or it's placed in the drop area from your battle area, draw one card. Nice. So now he's on board. 15k barrier and successor. So good. This boat is probably one of one of the best universe eleven cards. Um, I know in the tournament of powers, somebody was like abusing this dude like crazy in the tournament. Yeah. Uh, that guy. The only issue is that if I KO him in battle, he won't get the draw. That's the only. That's the only. I found out that on Wednesday. I was like, man, this oh. card's insane. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If you attack into it, because Amani was doing that, but he was like attacking into it. And I'm like, like with thirty and thirty five k, and I'm like. Why is an angel letting it die? Like, just whatever. You draw a card anyways. Ah. And then it doesn't. Or if it's placed in the drop area from here. Wow, that's crazy. That's pretty good. And then we have one blocker. So what is he going to do? What is angel going to do? Two drop promo. Jury. Your leader card is Universe 11. You can place this card in the drop area from your hand and choose two Universe 11 cards with an energy cost of one in your drop and play it with their skills negated. Oh, wow. And now he brings out... Dude, that's crazy. You know what's scary is once they have the big Jiren out, that becomes a problem. Have you seen what that dude does? The the Which 10 one? cost? George? 10 cost Jiren? Yeah. Yeah, the one that uh, your opponent can't do literally anything but... It, yeah, it, yeah, pretty much. You're just going to get destroyed. You're going to get punched in the face by a big dude. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so he pretty much could do it if he really wanted to. He has one, two, four. Oh, no, he has eight. Oh, he needs one more. Never mind. You just got to be careful with that dude. That dude is scary. Oh, but he's barrier, though. Isn't... Doesn't Kun... Um, Two or less. Hellas is two or less, isn't she? And she's universe. Oh no, she's universe two. Never mind. What? Hellies? Hellies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's she's a universe of um, of love, the right? Maidens. Yeah, yeah. The maidens. Yeah. I, f I forgot. I, for some reason, I thought she was uh, this universe. This universe but that's Belmont. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the other universe is actually the same colors too. So Belmont and Margarita, I think it is, um, are yeah. in this color as well. They're they're okay. the two like opposite. They're the two opposites of each other technically. Which is funny because gotcha. Pride Troopers are all these, like these masculine, like super tough dudes, and then you have like the universe of love. <laughs> so who do you think's gonna take it, uh, George? What do you think? Do you think Bojack or do you think Jiren? I think Jiren. Jiren's just—I mean, we've seen more of it. We know what it can do. Maybe I'm just mm. ignorant to the fact of what Bojack can do, but we can see a Bergamo coming down now for. Uh, Jordan, and that might be big because Jordan, I mean, uh, Bergamo is 
one of the best cards out of uh, Draft Box 5, I think. And, and I'm sure Brian Samuel probably agreed with you on the stream last night. Uh, Bergamo? Yeah. Yeah, Just he Bergamo said that right Bergamo is like one of the best uh, cards that came out of this set. He also likes the Kaioken Goku, the one that's pretty much the same as Exploiting Weakness uh, Vegeta. Um, because it's not leader restricted, you just got to play two red energy, uh, to play him out. But he's not leader restricted, just like uh, exploding, you have to have a red leader in order for it to trigger. Um, that guy doesn't, it's pretty sick. I was like, Oh, yeah, you're right, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> you're totally right. They're little key details. I was like, Huh, little key things that if they include, sometimes it's backbreaking, and when they don't include, it's just like, Holy cow, this card's insane. Yeah, it just changes the entire game. Um, you know what I was just thinking about, uh, George, the other what? or right now? What? Um, Hellas having Goten out. Imagine having like spamming that board out with Goten. Do you remember Goten, the one that got banned? The, the swap. Oh one? yeah, scrambling assault. Yeah. Yes. Imagine having that guy still. Oh my goodness. No Dang. thanks. That card is Jesus. That that led to so <laughs> many long turns because. Um, what was it? People could like rearrange it however way that they wanted mm -hmm. or something. Like, man, it's been so long since that card. Holy cow! Yeah, it's been a while. I'm so sad they got rid of um, what's his name? One drop Bardock for gender. I think that was like one of the best cards in the game. Yeah, that that's what caused the whole problem. Self awaken and you get to draw like three cards. <laughs> that's pretty that's good. So let's get back to this game. So, Dispo. And he has, oh, is he? What is he doing? It's accessory. Oh no, no, he played a uh, Belmont. This guy's amazing. When you play this card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Yeah, this card. He, he's actually. I, I don't see it in too many U11 Jiren decks. I see it all the time in the Gohan deck because it's an extra attack. Uh, just ha sacking off your dudes for an extra attack. But I don't see it too much in Jiren anymore. But it is a pretty cute combo if you're playing like surprise attack Frieza also. Mm -hmm. It'll just come out for free. Like you can play the Belmont by tributing three dudes, kill one of your opponent's dudes, and then you special summon the Frieza for free. And then that's eight. So yeah. it's not the worst, you know? And, and and if you're tributing like free dudes with the Belmont anyways, like the two drop and things like that, then, you know, it makes it a little bit better than just tributing three like good guys. But... <laughs> Oh man, double devastation. Oh, super Pretty combo. Cool name. Ooh, another Jiren. He's probably gonna spam out. Dang, I'm just realizing Angel's deck just spams out a bunch of cards, man. Every turn, just from the Hellas. And then he brings that out, and then he can successor again if you wanted to. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yeah insane oh yeah it's, it's pretty good angel's a pretty decent player and um he was playing the oh he's playing light bullet yeah i think he was playing light bullet last week too but a new thing that he's playing is um he's playing a yellow uh the blue dispo i don't know if we've seen it yet but he's playing the blue dispo from Dropbox five so it's a new new card okay because because it's a two drop u11 still so you still have the ability to like bring it out with um with either Jiren leader yeah. or with um, uh, this universe, um, this god, uh, the god of destruction, the destruction angel ray. Yeah, that's on board. So you have a few different ways of bringing that out if you really wanted to. Yeah, it's pretty it's cool. Pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, because it, it actually has a, um, it has an inherent ability where you can, um, if your opponent plays like, uh, SS Broly all out assault on like turn any turn before six if they play a card that's higher than their energy cost uh, or higher than their energy total then I, I think you could just put it back to hand and take a life and draw a card or something it's, it's pretty good it's pretty good I like it as like uh, e e even though you can't successor with it because it's blue that's probably the only reason why <laughs> I would you know be like yeah. no but Oh, he's playing Gene. Dude, I realize this guy is broken. Gene and Martine, that destruction rare card. I think that's one of the best. I think this if not, right I think, yeah, I think he might be one of the best destruction rare card that came out in this set, dude. It's pretty much discard one draw two on your opponent's turn. 
and restand to energy. Like it could be abused Wait, an insane what? amount. It yeah, yeah, you yeah with Aegis. Are you sure? That's Aegis, what Aegis when you does? Aegis, yeah, you you did you ditch a blue yellow card, re you draw two and you restand to any energy. It doesn't have to be blue yellow. Nah. It could be to any. And I'm like, wow. Are that you is broke. sure? Yeah. Aegis is for turn you, you can activate Aegis to draw two cards. But Aegis is an ability that just gives you two energy, that's just what it does. Yeah, Aegis is only done defensive step. So that's the only drawback is that your opponent has to attack you and you have to let it go through in order for you to activate that effect. Um, I think that's what... Um, I believe that's what Aegis is, man. It's pretty I insane. Th I, th I thought Aegis was just the ability to, in combat, discard blue-yellow. And then do no, I, no, Aegis it adds is you restand... Untap to? That's crazy. It, un it, un it untaps to as long as you meet the requirement of blue-yellow. Which is crazy. That's pretty good. And that's pretty good. If and not, then I've been good, cheating I mean, on Untap yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Then. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's just been letting you just like... Because I would have definitely <laughs> called you out on that for sure. But like, if people are letting you do it, then yeah, you're good then. Yeah. It has I, to be the way that it works. I remember that. I, I believe that's how it yeah. works. Um, and you negate a card. So it's like a Frost Daily Poison for five drops and less. Which Jeez. is pretty nice. It's a counterplay. Dude, this card's so strong. It's really broken. I wouldn't say it's broken, but I mean, it's really strong yeah, yeah. for sure. I think it, it would make one of the... I think it, I rank it as the best one for sure. I, think, I really like it a lot. Um, and then the second one would probably be Hellas. Um, those are tied for first and second for me. And no, actually, I made a top five video of like all the ones that I really enjoyed. Um, about the destruction rare cards, just because they add all the new mechanic or all the mechanics thus far, which is pretty cool from invoker to successor to ages to offering i think that was a cool um little offering is i, I think we i think we're gonna see a lot of offering in this tournament today i think we're gonna see that pan deck that can offer like three four times in a turn and you got a destruction is insane dude it's so good the one that just says yeah, offering dude. two or whatever or whatever it is because mm -hmm. like card. what you look, said oh look the dispo boom oh wow uh, Dispo Sonic Subver Subversion. Return this card to the owner's hand. Oh, because the skills are negated. Um, when your opponent plays a battle card with an energy cost greater. Oh, wow. So it's negated for that turn, and then after that, it just pops off. Yeah. Wow. Wait, where'd it go? He chose not to bring it out? Um, oh, because it has to be a green-yellow card, I think. Oh. Uh... No, yeah, it has to be green or yellow. You can't play um, this bow. It has to be uh, because this bow was blue. Crazy. I didn't even catch that. So yeah, I'm looking at the chat. Thank you guys. They're all saying that Aegis untaps too, dude. <laughs> I thought it was it crazy. Does? I'm like, it does untap too. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what makes him so strong. Dude, like you draw insane. two, untap yeah, two. Yeah. That's probably why people are sleeping on the card because it doesn't have that information on there. Yeah. How many times have you played like... Ages before that? Bro, I played it you when I was me? playing seven. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> was oh, okay. Like, yeah. I was like, hey man, this is broken. <laughs> they got to make something better with this. And then boom, they gave us Gene. I'm like, oh snap, this card is snapped in U7. And everyone's like, you're still playing U7? I'm like, bro, it's a free. Restand too. You know, that's like a half Zeno button right there. It's like a half Zeno. <laughs> that, is, Zeno. That, is, that, that is pretty pretty broken when you put it that way. Yeah, dude. Especially with like yellow decks. Um, imagine Surge Coup. You combo your two and you have that dude out. You're potentially going to bring out Bardock, obviously. And then do it again next turn. Dude, it's just bananas, man. I'm telling you, man. This, the bananas. deck is bananas. That, that, Bana that gene. Banana sandwich? Banana sandwich with peanut butter. What, what, but <laughs> what, what, what deck are you using to make that um, to make that happen? Uh, uh, currently, I'm using SS3, and SS3 I already untaps three though. Yeah, but sometimes I like playing the dual color cards, oh, and I and I play um, blue yellow. But I'm still trying to figure it out. But I deck out every time. Dude. That's how much I draw with that deck. I'm like, dude, this deck is crazy. And I ref like after, in the beginning, it's hard. Just because you'd lose to handed control for sure. But if it goes on past turn two or three, 
No, pass two, turn two, because you already have three energy. And if they're attacking you, you'll recuperate pretty quickly. But since Piccolo, it's one of those cards that just can't, that you have to, oh, he brought Zeno Oh Cell. my God, dude. It's always <laughs> when this card comes out, is it, does it spell like GG every single time? Oh I've never seen somebody gosh. like lose playing this card. Oh, I've lost man. playing Black Smoke a few times, but never this card. Uh, this card, oh, I hate this card. Because <laughs> it takes away three cards, too. When you're like at four energy or five, I believe. Five. Oh, man. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. That's an oh, baby moment. <laughs> good. Oh, these guys are ready. Let's go. Let's get back to the game, man. So right now he plays Beer's Fickle Destruction. Oh, Fickle. <laughs> Fickle God. No, I confused the wrong card. And Jaren's about to swing in the face of Bojack. And move his cards to... Okay, so he's just setting up his life. He wasn't even ready. The man is like, I'm charging at you and put... <laughs> I didn't put his life yet. Oh, man. 15k. Dang. Man. This is crazy. Bojack. I didn't think I was going to see this guy. Yeah, Bojack. I mean... <laughs> That's that's kind of bold bringing it to uh, such a big event. I mean, he must feel really comfortable with it, you know. Yeah, and <clears throat> that's what I like about uh, Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Any leader that you feel comfortable taking to distance, if you play the right matches, and if you know how to counterplay the obviously this favored decks that could pretty much kill you. But if you know how to play around it, then it makes the the player, you know, he could top with any deck. I mean, I, I really do hope he gets there with, with Bojack, to be honest, because that, that would be super unique. And he's playing some of the new mm -hmm. cards, of course. But uh, Angel's no... no, uh, no Ooh, mill one, please. <laughs> I love when people write, mill one, please. Mill one, mill please. Two, please. I already know what you're doing. You know what you're telling me to do. No, Relax. <laughs> no, it's funny because um, Frank Miller, like, hates... Mill or like any type of mill. So like his 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 name on like I think one of these online platforms is um is Mill Two Please. That's it. that's his username. His username is literally Mill Two Please. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> he does it to like trigger. It's a problem. Change this so now he's bringing up little weenie cards. So now he has a one drop. I'm guessing he wants to look for the the barrier one. And I'm guessing what the problem with Bojack is he doesn't have removal for barrier. And that's what's causing Probably the problem. Not. Yeah. Um by doing that, he's just gonna have a hard time trying to get rid of his board. Like now you gotta think about it. You gotta have that those three drop cards that people are, are sleeping on. What are they called? The, um, cease to exist, the red one, and then they have the other one. That pretty much get rid of barrier cards. Yes, all the you. all the three drops. Yeah, yeah, they all get rid of barriers. You need to at least have one or side in one or two, and um, because invoker is a big problem if you can't do that. And I, as, as an invoker player, aren't you an invoker player, George? That that yes. becomes like huge. Yeah, that becomes problem. an issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only problem with those cards is that they're not all created equally. Like, the yellow one is significantly worse than all the other ones. The, the yellow oh. one requires the card to be tapped. It's like, what? Get rid of it. Yeah, usually <laughs> the barrier cards don't want to be tapped because that's their only form of interaction. You get me? Mm, like barrier gotcha. cards, you want to keep in active mode because otherwise it's just like, hey, opponent, deal with it or you're screwed, you know? Or, yeah. Yeah, oh, so dang. That, that, I didn't that's know that's the issue. yellow did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yellow. Yeah, that's why nobody plays the yellow. <laughs> that's why you never <laughs> see the yellow at all. Um, but the, uh, yeah, the blue one's great. I mean, like, you know, bouncing back, draw two. Uh, the red one's probably the best against Jiren because it says two of your threats, minus 25, yeah. to get off board. Like, that is a house against Jiren. That's what I cited. It. That's what I cited in against U11 to make my Invoker matchup a little bit better um, when I'm playing since, with Invoker. Since you since you had your tournament on Wednesday, what was the most dominating color that you noticed? Um, if uh, you don't mind me asking. Green. Yeah, green was dominating a lot, as, as funny as it is. Green mm -hmm. was, uh, I think about it, both the decks in the finals were both green leaders. Um, mm -hmm. And the majority of oh, the yeah. deck were base, base green also. 
Mm, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, green, I think green's really powerful right now, especially with like all those boosts, like all those hand destruction cards that they got. <sighs> nutty. So, so insane. Nutty. Yeah, so so good. Wow, Wait, he's, he's going in with, with <laughs> he's going in with the one drops. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was like, what? Five K? This man is wild. Man is Very not scared. Extreme, extreme, <laughs> extremely wild. The most wild. I'm a little sad that your Richmond um, event got canceled, man. I was gonna, I was gonna be able to see you, man. I know, not dude. Too far from Richmond. <laughs> I know, I know. Would have gone to visit sad, you I'm so and sad. played or whatever. Maybe, I mean, there's still time for it to not get canceled, I guess. What so is it in July, May, right? May, May, no, it's like May or something. Oh so right yeah. Now, we, so right now we're about time. to start. Yeah, we're about to start April. So we'll see. We'll play about year and stuff right. like that. Think, hopefully our our September doesn't get canceled. And that's in Orlando. That's gonna be. That should be awesome. I'll probably fly out to the Orlando if I can make it in September. You said what? Yeah, September. September. Um, I think we had the date on there, but I don't think Bandai has officially announced it. But it's like I think maybe the first week, first couple weeks. Yeah, like gotcha. That. Gotcha. Gotcha. So here we go. So he went in with the five Ks, and this man just Jeez, awakened. I'm guessing. Man. Oh no, he hasn't awakened. Whoa, whoa. Is, why did he attack? Is, what's his life? He's at five. Okay, so he's at five. Nine cards in hand. Nine and cards in hand, yeah. Dang, I'm surprised. Goes down to four now. Yeah, well, it's because Jiren doesn't. Dispo. What? Because Jiren, uh, Jiren. I mean, Bojack doesn't do anything when he awakens dude i don't oh, know if you remember true. that yeah, yeah. he Peter just flips it doesn't do a it. thing yeah. doesn't withstand energy <laughs> doesn't let you draw <laughs> he always complains like, about what? that because he's like what the heck man if bojack just like drew a card at least yeah just one <laughs> he's not even the most broken like they should have rebooted this dude <laughs> yeah <laughs> the that's kind of wild they, they, they did him they did him pretty dirty i'm not gonna lie Unless they realize that maybe it could be really broken, people are just not yeah. figuring it out yet. I'm maybe, like, oh. maybe. That, that can definitely be a thing. I know the production, or the, uh, I feel like the development team has changed a lot. Mm hmm. So, I mean, for, for the best, I think. It's definitely. I think the game, uh, I think the cards are much, uh, much more intricate now, where they, they do a lot more stuff. There's less, like, puff. Everything is like pretty good. Oh, are we seeing another uh -oh. Celzino here? <laughs> no, this will cost energy. This is the Topo Mortality Surprise. He's gonna go ahead and KO that Bojack. And the tapped uh, Bojack over the untapped Bojack? Yeah, I was looking at that too. I was yeah. like, uh, but he has one in active. <laughs> Maybe he was just quick to. He got, he got trigger happy. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm gonna KO this guy. Oh. I don't know. Interesting. Someone's saying Raditz does more than <laughs> Bojack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Raditz is actually pretty good. You, dude, the lie. leader? Think, yeah, Warp yeah, yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they mean on Awaken. But Raditz is actually... I lost to a Raditz deck recently, I think, on... Uh, I think I was playing on Did you really? Or yeah. Because I was playing uh, SS3, uh, the untapped SS3. Uh -huh. And because Raditz has that ability to discard a card, like, you, oh, because yeah, you're SS3, you you're, you're just super yeah. weak. Yeah, you're super weak. Yeah, and obviously, yeah. he's playing, like, Ribrians and, you know, all Wait, this, who, uh, who? discard stuff. I think that might have been c -Rod, dude. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, probably. <laughs> c -Rod, dude. I don't c -Rod know. Made just... a, a deck profile, on it, and I think somebody... I, really? It was, yeah, he made a deck profile. <laughs> I'm like, dude, yeah, this deck is insane. <laughs> on, bo on both sides, you you make your opponent warp one. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, maybe if I don't like attack. Was him. he playing Vegeta the Cruel and all that? Like, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I got Rex. And then you warp things, so it doesn't go to your drop. So you're yeah. You can't you can't even play the ape Goku ape to the drop or any other card to like draw. It's <laughs> super being warped. Super good, man. I don't understand. Bojack looks like it's getting things rolling here. He's got Bojan, Zangaya, and Beto on board. So, little by little. <laughs> we got the Claire Blue Mangroves. Yeah. Bojack's still at uh, 7 life, by the way. 
It looks like Wait, Angels... what? He's at yeah. seven. Bojack's what? at seven. Yeah. Angels at four with uh, oh, wow. with Jiren. Is it when you combo when is Bojack that card is placed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why you can awaken at seven. Oh man. Wait, he's at seven. Oh yeah, he is at seven. Yeah, Wait, can seven. he awaken? Wait, how did he do that? Hey, how did he awaken? Can you see? Um, um, I'm gonna look up Bojack. I can't see the backside. Uh, yeah. Or the front see. side. So that's interesting. Bojack. Someone said it's four or less. But he's at seven. Blah blah blah. When you come with this card. Jaren's the one that we're not. He's not. He's at four. Yeah, he's at seven. How did he awaken? How did you awaken at seven life? Oh, you're asking him. Four or less. <laughs> oh. Wait, Bojack did, does don't he do draw anything. when he awakens? No, he doesn't draw or do anything. He just awakens. <laughs> oh, he did. It's oh. okay. It doesn't it says? Oh, mm -hmm. it's okay. Bojack does nothing on awaken. Um, I thought he doesn't. Does he draw? Does he do when he, he oh when uh when he attacks oh, it says the when a boat jack is played uh, in the battle area you draw one card so when he awakened he played a card and that's when he drew um but when he awakens he doesn't draw from awakening or untapping no i didn't draw playing on awaken yeah see yeah yeah so he drew off the the awaken side but not from the awakening mm -hmm. okay 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 what do you do then? Does the I'm player not, just... I'm not going to issue uh, a game loss here. It's up to him. I think he said GG though, so I don't know if he's scooping. Or it's up to uh, him. I played Zang Zangia before Awakening. It's up to the dude, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's um, up to them. Yeah, it's up to them. If, he, if it's repairable and he just picks a random card from his hand back to the top of the deck, that could definitely work. I don't know. Um, yeah, the, player, the, the opponent's saying he doesn't mind, so it's up to... I'm gonna let them resolve. Uh, you you want to let him know in the chat because he's like trying oh, to scoop okay. or something. I don't know. If he's okay, he's okay. Up to, I put, up to you guys. It's a repair. It's a repairable game state. Okay, cool. Okay, perfect. Cool. Yep. So they're gonna play it back. Sweet. Awesome. So we're gonna fin see the conclusion of this epic Bojack. <laughs> Which Battle. swole dude will take it, man? Which swole dude, right? Yeah. Both insanely swole. Hey, you should tell Peter to cosplay as Jiren next time. Shave his head. I know, right? He should. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we showed up? Uh, we showed up to Richmond for the first ever Richmond Regional. I don't know if you were. Uh, yeah, of course you were. Yeah, because you were the first one of the three, the first people on, the, on uh, Dragon Ball content. But yeah, we we all <laughs> we all dressed up as U uh, eleven. And then we, That's uh, Pete, right. Pete, I remember you guys cosplayed. Yeah, Peter ended up taking that one, taking that <laughs> event. It was That's funny. funny. He was he was actually Jiren, but I mean like he still had his ponytail and shit. So. Uh, uh, not not, like not bald. Him. Yeah, not like super like we were just all wearing pretty much red shirts, white uh, gloves, and white or that, that the black boots? little thing. Yeah. No, no, no boots, no boots. Well, we wore black shoes, but someone's saying I'm waiting for George <laughs> we, Machado. <laughs> Krillin cosplay. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you'd be you be uh, you you'd make a pretty good uh I know, right? Krillin just saying, man. I have a beard, I have to shave it. Oh no, wait, doesn't Krillin like grow a beard or something? No, he grows hair. Yeah, he grows hair. Oh, okay. Just take That's off, so funny. off your beard like, and put it on your head. Dude. Forever <laughs> just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you snapped. That's funny. Um so we have Jaren attacking the leader. And he's at seven lives, so you got really excited. And 
We're gonna see. Hopefully this game, he's at three life now. Jiren is at three, he's at seven cards, and we have Angel at, oh, Angel's at seven at three, which is Jiren, and then we have uh, San Jalen, or San Jalen, or I don't know. I think I his name is uh, Jordan, it. yeah. I just put him as Jordan. Jordan on the stream, yeah. Okay, so Jordan. I, actually have, I have access to the actual pairing, so I know everybody's real name, so I'm just like, I put <laughs> Okay. <on there. laughs> I'm like, I can't... Oh, we have Destruction God 25,000. I don't know, some weird name. It's like that, but... Um, Which one? No, no, no. I'm just, like, making fun oh, of okay. it. Just... Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Which one? <laughs> oh, he's about to go off. He's going to bring out that huge... He's combined I... three dudes. Well, he's scared, dude, because then if he... so He's at seven life, though. Yeah, but you bring out that huge Jiren dude. And then he he negates stuff until the next turn, dude. Until your next turn. It's really hard to get over. That dude is strong. It's not even a fair card. It's like GG at that point. You can't get rid of it. The man is a beast. See? See? Oh, <laughs> Somebody just messaged me. Just dropped me from the tournament. I didn't think it was going to start 6 a.m. Western time. <laughs> is that what time it is over there, Tony? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's <laughs> I'm <a>. sorry, dude. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if this is the best time to run these things. I don't know. I I, I think I gotta find out like the best time. But so far, I, I did it eleven. Really been an issue, but you did eleven. I did eleven. Yeah, I did eleven. Eleven just for, like um, Eastern time. Eleven Eastern time, just because that gives uh players nine a.m. their time. I think nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven. Uh, nine a.m. is pretty solid. I feel. Um. Yeah. Yeah, that, no, that yeah, doesn't I think sound too bad for, for West people, yeah, because yeah, waking up at 6 is pretty brutal. A lot of people are from Cali, so. Dude, one of my co-workers went back to Cali, and our meetings start at 8 in the morning, so it's mm -hmm. 5 a.m. over there, so she's just oh, like, I, I can't do this right now. I'm like, who, sent, who told you to leave? <laughs> oh, man. But enough of that. But we have this poem, um, what's his name? What's his name? I forgot. Topo. Swope Topo. Hey, you could cosplay as Topo, dude. The God of Destruction. Yeah, one. That's, what, that's, that's what I wanted to do, I think, when we were doing that Richmond thing, when we were um, when we were cosplaying that event. The Lorax I was just going to bring out, yeah, yeah. I was going to bring out, like, the white stash. That's all I need, right? Yeah. Just a big white stash. <laughs> so here we go. We have... So he's still at seven life. I wonder if he's worried about him playing a quad, quad striker. But you know, is Draftbox five? Yeah, Draftbox five is legal for this event, correct? Draftbox five is legal. Yeah, this is the second yeah. event that we have legal Draftbox five. We we made it legal on Wednesday too because it was just online. There's no yeah. reason not to, and all the spoils were out. So we didn't mm. see too much Draftbox five. We saw a little bit. We saw like a sprinkle in people's decks, but um, it's probably gonna be the same here. I mean, like I don't think there's a a meta deck that comes out of draft box five like there's not like just a draft like i don't think we're gonna see a thematic um what is this universe nine deck like with all the wolves and stuff mm. i don't know i don't know if it's that strong to the point where we're gonna see like like invoker right invoker comes out in set nine we've never seen it before and this is just a deck purely out of set nine i don't think we're gonna yeah. see that with draft box i think we're gonna see some splashes here and there but gotcha yeah, because I was realizing if people are worried about quad strikes and all that, they could just play the counterplay card that's deflect. The Gohan, yeah. The Gohan, if they're really worried. Um, I would just side out too, because if you know a poem, I would just always have to. I, I feel like that would be a, a good number, just because if they're playing Cell or they're playing um, any big behemoth, <laughs> like Jiren, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Jiren. take just one hit from anything that's double strike quad strike and and it, and it gets around strike. like their ability to like not yep. be affected by cards and blah 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 yep which is really nice um especially if they're going to be playing uh what is it when they play the brolies and they tap mm -hmm. your energy you could just counterplay in that moment and it, it kind of stops them for that turn like okay should i just go in or should i even decide to bring out the big dude and then if you quad strike that moment then you'll be fine i feel but Still scary though. It's just still 40k dual attacker, so you don't want to be at two lives. <laughs> but huge shout out to PPG and George, man, for making this untap or untap. I mean, online tournament with Octagon. Sorry, that was, <laughs> it was <laughs> from the one. No I problem. I mean, we get it. Do. We get it. I, I say it multiple times. <laughs> I, I said it multiple times on Wednesday, dude. And I was just like, whatever. Just untap. I mean, Octagon. Oh, 
Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, thank you, thank you. It, it's been great. Shout so out far. to you guys, like, man. The, 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 the reception has been great. The viewership has been great. Um, people's uh, experience in the tournament, which is obviously, you know, up there is very important. They, they've all been pretty good. I just had one guy message me, and <clears throat> that's why I've kind of been, like, in and out trying to, like, uh, troubleshoot. I have somebody on the floor, but he was just like, ah, oh, I didn't know that it started at Eastern time. It's like, yeah. oh, I mean, <laughs> Sorry, it's on there though. So. One question I have for you, um, George. <laughs> yeah. Is um, what is it that? How did you fix the communication? Because I, I think we talked about this the other day, and I was telling you that oh yeah, I had players from like the UK and like uh, Kuwait and some like all over the place, like Latin America. <laughs> how did you solve that issue? Because I had a hard time. I was just trying to figure that out. Did you just end up like having them on one like platform for the communicator or? Yeah, yeah. So right. you you can well on Untap it was a little bit easier because on Untap you can actually message each other through Untap. So my gotcha. idea was like with Untap, hey, you just communicate with each other through there. Um, because we're mostly we're like ninety five percent targeted towards uh, Facebook advertisement, then we mm -hmm. just I, I can see where it becomes an issue when you have like YouTube people that want to play. Yeah, dude. And, that's and they, that's and they don't have and they don't have Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that that was the issue that I had. I was like someone from like latin america kuwait and i'm like uh uh what time is it over there <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> what time where are you located i don't even know um so yeah i mean uh thankfully we have the discord now so that's a little bit easier um the discord is good because um people can come and talk about uh organized play if you guys haven't joined the discord i'll actually drop the link in the chat for you guys uh that's where you're gonna be able to uh communicate any type of um troubleshooting issues that you might be experiencing with mm. Octagon. I know somebody was contacting me on there about like, oh, how, how do you sideboard um, on Octagon? And uh, usually our team is able to, uh, we have like, I think our event team is five or six people deep. So it's just not like one person trying to do everything. So it's kind of gotcha. a little bit easier. Like I don't primarily have to answer the questions sometimes. So everybody um, is able to help each other out too. Like, so the Discord's a, a good idea. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna drop the link in the description. In, in the uh, sorry, in the <laughs> description. What is this YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna drop <laughs> the link in the <laughs> I'm Tony G over here. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll drop it in there so you guys can like uh, check it out. But that's been the best way. That way, everybody can kind of. Um, it also f serves as like a community, right? Because now you mm -hmm. have a bunch of people um, that share. Uh, the passion of playing Dragon Ball Super during this, you know, off season or whatever you want to call it. Um, boop. Let me see if that works. Oh, I'm not signed into Twitch. How am I not signed into Twitch? Do, do, do. Okay, I'm gonna figure it out. Oh, it's I'm gonna figure it out. Run. Yeah, sign. Oh no, not sign up. Sign up. Log in. So yeah, that that's the best way. Making sure that everybody has contact with each other. They have contact with the TOs. They have contact with the head judges. They have contact with everything. So that's that's usually the best way. But yeah, Facebook is still something that people use default to to kind of oh, communicate okay. with each other. Okay. Wow, he loves attacking with these one drops. He Dude, really he does. goes in with them, man. Like, man is not scared. <laughs> Jeez, that man is a <laughs> savage. He's like five K <laughs> don't matter. Don't matter. <laughs> I got 20k of combo in my hand. I don't care about these cards. You think I care? <laughs> Call my bluff. <laughs> Say I won't. I'll kill you with a Roshi. <laughs> I've killed people with a Roshi. I killed, I killed somebody with a Roshi on stream. The last, uh, the shop championship, right? Where you, where people can yeah. get like a buy to, to the regionals and stuff. I was yeah. playing on stream. It wasn't my event, so before anybody attacks me, like it was PBG's event, right? I was playing as a player, um, and uh, I was on stream for like round one. Yeah, pe people get upset. Like I'm, I, I'm like some super tier player. Like I'm just gonna like mop you up. Like I suck. <laughs> <laughs> if you're offended that I'm playing a tournament, I'm sorry, but I'm not that good. I promise you. I, I don't have some cheat. I don't have some like cheat book in my hand, like where I'm just like, oh, I know Bandai is Bandai's telling me the plays. <laughs> They're telling me the plays. <laughs> they told me this was the best deck. 
<laughs> no, I just love the game. I, I genuinely I love the ins and outs. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. I genuinely funny, love dude. and 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 support the game. And I'll play it casually. And I'll play it. I'll play it when nothing's on the line. And I'll play it when everything's on the line. I'm not, you know. <laughs> I do not. You were the uh, tournament of power, right? Also. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was playing in tournament. I made top thirty-two. Let's go, baby. Too. Yeah, let's dude. go. People don't respect, bro. I made top eight nationals too. You uh, did with um, yeah. Android, right? Android. Like Android. Androids in a storm format. That was crazy. I, remember. I felt I felt like a, 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 a sheep in like a, I don't know. I felt like a, I don't know, a, a fish in a, uh, in a shark pond oh, or something. Like, dude, I was, I, just it, like, I, I was like, bro, what? <laughs> Dodging all these storm <laughs> players. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, like man. 80 90 percent storm and you got the tempest oh, that you didn't play yeah, yeah 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 i mean honestly oh, we man. had a pretty good we had a game plan for it it's not like we went in there and like oh yeah we're gonna lose the storm what i wasn't prepared for was the shenron deck which is what i lost to i lost to shenron the only oh, was shenron, it the shenron gogeta? Made, yeah yeah the only shenron gogeta in top four i lost to him because they were all oh, knocked wow. out by storm because the deck couldn't be storm so, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he didn't. I think he only played Storm in the finals. That was the yeah. only time he played. He said. And then he I was lost. like, what? I'm like, what? Yeah, he got he got smacked. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, dude, what? At least I have a game plan against him. Like, I'm not I'm not saying like it was an auto win for me, but You're, at least we had like, a I game wish plan. It was me. I have to strip me. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, dude. It was so crazy, but yeah, no. I, I love playing Dragon Ball, and, and I'm competitive at times. When I practice a lot, like I'll do well, but. Usually yeah, I'm just it's funny. Fun. You gotta see, you got you gotta see that meme. I think someone created. It's this dude that got a medal and he's going super high for it, and he's like third place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's that's like me, meta dude, decks, and then me. it's just rogue <laughs> deck. Rogue deck. Yeah. <laughs> that was you and Nat. That's me. Dude. Yeah, that was me and Nat. <laughs> yeah, top yeah, eight. Yeah, dude. What were you crazy. Playing? That's funny. Andrew, we, were, we, we were yeah, we were all in the same deck. Like me, Peter Catani, Justin Rios, even. Uh, we were all on the Android deck. It wasn't like just me being like, "Oh yeah, Android," you know. Like, we were just like, "Hey, this deck's pretty good against almost everything." So, you know, there's <laughs> a reason why Cell got hit, right? I like to think yeah. that was that reason. No, Cell <laughs> was insane, dude. But now I think looking at it, the form, <clears throat> looking at the format, I think Cell could go back up. Maybe not to four, but maybe to two or something like that. Cell's just to give pretty it pretty like... broken. People were playing it with the new Doctor Jero. Wait, what? The new Dr. Jero leader, uh, Android mm -hmm. 20. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I think uh, uh, Butter uh, Buttersworth, uh, Devin, was playing it. And um, I think Peter, like, tried the list against me. And I was like, dude, seven drop is still broken. Like, so good. The thing oh, with that yeah, leader, you, you can bring out the three drop for free in the graveyard if you have no guys on board. But Oh, snap, you can? Yeah, I think you got to pay, like, two energy or something or one energy. That's not too bad. But, um... You have to have no battle cards on board. And you can bring out a three drop or less energy for like one or Dang. two energy or something. And if so you do yeah. it right, you could, with the new drop box, it's pretty much their entire hand with, uh, what's your name? Rivian or something. Rivian, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's cool because but the Dr. Jero super combo sends the three drop from your deck. You're one of three drop. But the thing is, right. if you life it, you're like screwed. You gotta. It's one. It's it's what I call the one seeker rare in every deck. That's just like Cobra yeah, Lust. Yeah, the exactly, one seeker exactly, rare in that exactly. deck. Yep, pretty much. In a really tough spot, and it's pretty scary. What did you do? He's a He's two life. But as long as he has a universe seven, or universe seven eleven. Universe eleven. Um, yeah. Which I didn't uh, know. I, you don't need to have it. When you activate the ability of Jin. Oh, you don't have you to have to it life, before. You don't have to have it. No, you could have zero. And then, and then, when they go to attack you or deal damage, if you don't have that U11, it checks. Then it's like, do you have a U11? No. Okay, you still take a life. So that's pretty. Oh. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, um, because you can like play that negate that like special summons a dude from your graveyard. Special summons a U11 from your graveyard. And then so that's on, when on you have a universe. Yeah, universe. exactly. You're just like, negate wow. that attack now. I have a U11. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> 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 so it's actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Love the pause. Get wrecked, nerd. Was free. So he, yeah, it was he plays his time. <laughs> also, the, um, I, I posted the, the link if you guys want to follow your favorite uh, players or you want to keep up with the rounds in real time, you can click that link and you can see what every single round, who won, who lost to who, 
et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you can check that out and follow the tournament, see Top Cut, all that stuff. Uh, the parent, uh, the brackets will be on there once we get to Top Cut. So you can follow that whole tournament on that, on that link in the chat, guys. Make sure you check it out. Definitely check it out, guys. And so, and I don't know. What do you think he's going to take it? This guy has a chomp. I think, gonna yeah, just... Jiren, Jiren's, like, it, it's yeah. hard. He has eight cards in hand. He, sure, he's at one life, but, like, he has eight cards in hand. Unless Bojack can, like, take that life from him somehow. I think his shields are up, too, right? Yep. I don't know. His shields are up? So. Okay, so, so, like, Bojack can't even win next turn if he wanted to. Uh, the cool thing is that I think this Bojack can tap leader. He played, so he's playing. What is he playing? Oh my god, oh. yeah, that's pretty... Oh, this is the guy that... Well, it's, it's not over because Bojack still has four life, but this guy... Here, chooses so three good. cards in their hand. Oh, man. Yeah, this is discard three, dual attack, 30k, and when it dies, you can bring out four drop worth of dudes from your drop area. From your drop area, four energy worth of dudes. Dang, So, dude. that's pretty damn good. <laughs> that's pretty good. He's at three cards in hand, and the other dude has seven. Yeah, no, I don't think uh, it's not looking good for our friends in Bojack Land. In <laughs> Bojack Land. <laughs> Bojack Horse <coughs> Land. Let's see. How so many rounds, has... Mario? I think. I have to check, actually. I think there was a 40. 40 something players. 43 players. So I will. Check that it's out. single elimination, right? Just like they win the the top the, yep. the best of three, and then they just move on to the next one. Um, it's not single elimination actually. It's Swiss. Oh, it's not. Oh, snap. yeah, yeah. So, so forty three players is a six round tournament with a cut to top eight. That's what it is. Gotcha. So, this man, wait, this bow for two. Dang, dude, he only has one card in hand. <laughs> Response. He's tapped out. <laughs> what do you do as a Bojack player, man? Oh, man, but he just... KOs things, I think, right? When he combos, uh, yeah. When you combo with a narrative. The thing is, when you have two or more, like the... or... yeah. And, and the thing is, like this, this uh, Destroyer and Angel replaces itself. The two drops and less, I'll have barrier. Like <laughs> the six drop Zobo barrier. It's like, well, damn. You know, <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Exactly. Dang, thinking, thinking. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> and this guy plays one. If you have four or more university lint in your drop area, for this card. It's time in the round, so we got a. Uh, Wait, how did he? Uh, how did he successor? I didn't even get to see that. He had the four drop. And then the other four drop. Oh no, he was five. Wait, what's the cost of that University Eleven? Let me, can I see his drop? No, huh? Bummer. Oh, he's seven. Got it. Got it. Twelve. Perfect. I wonder if they're hearing the stream because <laughs> I was like, huh? "See that?" Are, are the players on the stream too hearing it? Because I, I was mentioning oh, like, possibly, How did he, but it's uh, delayed. Oh, it's delayed. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah possibly. So he brought out Zeno Cell with 7, 4, 11, and 12. Has closed their game when they left the game. They did not crash or... He just left? I guess so. Oh, yeah. They said GG anyways. Yeah. 10 minutes overtime. Yeah. Once I said time in the round, 10 minutes overtime, uh, he was like, yeah, good games. It's good, good games anyways. GG, man. Because he had only had one card, so yeah, that's yeah, the quad strike. Yeah. So that's, that's, yeah, that's pretty much... Once that goes down, that is pretty much the okay. end of things. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna be right back with a small little break right before round two. Uh, this is Angel Santiago taking it 2-0 over Jordan. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 